Hello Minions, Wheezy here. Today I want to talk to you about the Call of Duty Cold War Alpha. I want to show you some gameplay, talk to you about kind of what I think we can expect going forward, so uh, let's go! Okay, so I'm just going to really kind of share my thoughts on uh, the Cold War Alpha. Um, as these clips play in the background. So uh, I didn't get to play a ton of the alpha. Uh, I downloaded it kind of late in the day on Friday. Then I got to play it for a little bit on Saturday. And for those of you who were either in the Discord or saw... Uh, hey, actually, did I even share it on the channel? Um, I, so I live-streamed to my YouTube channel um, all of my gameplay from Saturday, which was the majority of the amount of time I got to spend playing the alpha. So... Um, these first couple of clips are from my first couple of games that I played on Friday, and then the rest is from the live stream. Anyway, the point being that uh, I'm going to just kind of share my thoughts based on some limited experience with the alpha, but a lot of experience with Call of Duty in general. So, overall, kind of, I'm really concerned about Cold War. I am very worried that this is going to be a big step backwards for... Call of Duty in terms of the multiplayer. The From what I've seen so far, the campaign, at least on their trailers, um, which looks like live gameplay footage, and I think that's what it says, is... That looks great, and like I've mentioned before, it looks like the... It looks like the campaign almost is built on the Modern Warfare engine, but multiplayer is like almost on its own, own engine, which is like the old... Um, Black Ops 4 engine. I mean, it, this feels like the old Call of Duty engine. So Call of Duty felt like this since Call of Duty 4, right? With very little variation. You know, they changed maps and they did some wall running and shit in some of them. But this, after Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare felt like a a change, like a an evolution in the in the game. It felt like they were they built this new engine, which I hadn't been following the news on. So for me, it was a really big surprise. Like just boom, all of a sudden they had this new engine, and and it was gorgeous, and the gameplay felt good, and the audio was really good, and the guns felt very like significant and real, and everything in Modern Warfare felt feels still amazing, and. It has made it my favorite Call of Duty game in the series, including Call of Duty 4. Uh, previously, the Treyarch games, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, were some of my favorite Call of Duty games. Um, in fact, Black Ops 2, before this, may have been one of my favorite games, or my favorite Call of Duty game. Anyway, doesn't matter, I don't need to rack and stack them in this video. But, this feels like those... Which would otherwise be a good thing, except that Modern Warfare took this kind of, like, light year jump forward in terms of visual fidelity, quality, gameplay, immersiveness, stuff like that. And then, that's not even talking about Warzone putting on, put, put on top of that. Um, which, again, I think Warzone's going to continue to live separately and run on that same engine. I don't think Warzone's going to play on this engine, so... That said, this feels like a big step backwards. This feels, as far as gameplay and graphics, it feels like an old Call of Duty. And if you were someone who didn't like the new Modern Warfare and you thought it was too different from over old Call of Duties, you'll probably really love this. Um, and I don't dislike this, so I don't want it to come across like that. This is good. It feels solid. There's some balance issues and some quirkiness that, that they'll have to resolve. Um, but overall, the gameplay is smooth. The map design, I actually really like so far on the few maps I've played. Um, you know, it doesn't feel very random. It feels very directed and intentional, which I like in shooter maps. Sometimes the Infinity Ward maps, or the Call of Duty maps in general, can feel very random, where you just don't really know where people are coming from. Um, and it can cause some really random, strange deaths. Um, that said, RCXDs are back. Uh, although I haven't seen them being abused, but I always hate RCXTs. <laughs> uh, going back in the day. So, yeah, I mean, it, it. I would say it's too early to, to really kind of be super concerned because this is an alpha. Although, for people who have actually done software or have been around uh, video games for a while, 
this isn't really an alpha. Like, this isn't like an early, early build of the game. The full game releases in less than two months. So there's just, there's just no way that they're going to make significant changes in two months. They're going to rebalance weapons. They're going to maybe fix some bugs and some graphical issues. They might tweak and improve the net code, but nothing is going to be rewritten and fixed, right? Like, from a major standpoint. Um, that said, in, the, in this clip you're seeing right now, playing with the sniper, uh, in this alpha, it definitely felt like it shifted sniper heavy because the snipers were just instant kill, super easy to use, super fast aim down sights. Um, I saw that Treyarch or Activision or someone tweeted that they intentionally buffed snipers for the alpha because they wanted to do some testing. I don't know what the fuck that means. Like, they just tried to make them overpowered so that people would use them, I guess. But they it worked. It's super fast aim down sights. The auto aim is super strong. And they kill in one hit to, you know, well, this one specifically to the torso, shoulders, and head. Which is basically, unless you shoot someone in the leg, shoot someone, shoot someone in the leg, they're going to die from this weapon. So, it's... I... I I don't want to get bogged down too much in the details of it. The important thing that I'm trying to communicate here is the overall feel of the game. And the overall feel of the game is that this feels like an old Call of Duty. Which is very ironic considering that this is going to be a cross-generational game. So it's going to be the first Call of Duty on PlayStation 5 and Xbox One or Xbox Series X. Xbox's naming still fucking trips me up. It's going to be on current generations and next generation, which I guess Call of Duty Ghosts did that. I can't really speak how that went because I skipped Ghosts because that was right in the middle of the Call of Duty. had completely lost my attention. Um, and it took until Black Ops 4 uh, for it to kind of get my attention back. And even then, that was only like a long way into its life cycle because they did like a free to play weekend and I was like okay screw it I'll download it and it was like oh this feels like Call of Duty again it's not wall running futuristic laser gun bullshit um, so Modern Warfare was exactly what I wanted from a Call of Duty game and Cold War feels like the successor to Black Ops 3 which is what it is obviously um, not Black Ops 4, I say that because even though there was engine improvements and stuff like that, Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign. Um, it did have multiplayer and Blackout, but I don't know, Bla I don't know. That was just a kind of a weird iteration of Call of Duty with, with no campaign in it. So this is going to be kind of like that direct follow-on, and that's how it feels, at least in terms, in terms of the multiplayer. So... I'm having a hard time getting excited about it, and the gameplay didn't super impress me. You know, it feels more call of, uh, more Treyarch style. The time to kill feels inconsistent, um, but it feels slightly slower uh, than Modern Warfare. Not dramatically slower. It's not Black Ops, f or yeah, Black Ops Four slow. There was quite a bit longer time to kill in Black Ops Four, and then it had the self healing mechanic. Um, so this has auto heal and stuff like that. So that feels better, but kind of in general, I'm just really hesitant. And especially, they just don't have a lot of time to make a huge difference for to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. I got a hit marker on that guy's leg. So you can get a hit marker with a sniper. It's just really rare. Um, and then I did it actually get a get credit for that kill when someone else finished him off, which counted towards my anyway. Um, we can talk briefly about score streaks, I guess. They are strange. Um, I kind of see what they're doing with trying to have the objectives add towards your streaks to kind of encourage you to play the objective. But it's still very heavily weighted towards getting kills, and it overlaps between lives, so it doesn't reset when you die. So when you get a big kill streak, it helps you earn your score streak fast. Um, but if you die when you're, you know, like in, in Modern Warfare, if you're one kill from a kill streak and then you die, you start over, right? But in this, if you get a really big streak and it helps you build up and you're almost to one of your high score streaks and you die, you just get to continue and pick up where you left off, except since your kill streak resets, your bonuses aren't as high. So 
I'm not going to make a judgment on that just yet, other than the fact that it can make people who aren't great at the game get some of the best kill streaks in the game, which is kind of like a care package. But So we'll see how that balances out. That's one of those things I can't make a judgment on yet. We'll have to see how it plays out in the actual game. Um, there's just a lot of these things I feel like we really have to keep our eyes on um, that could be... It could be uh, a little trickery <laughs> when when the game launches. So, um, yeah, my you were probably sensing that there's a whole lot of kind of like going on right now, which is which is accurate. Um, in general, the game looks pretty. Like and and from what I've heard uh, on the higher resolution versions on PC, as well as what's going to be on the PS5 and the next generation Xbox. It's going to look really pretty, but again, the, the overall engine feel isn't going to change, right? So when I say that I, the graphical fidelity isn't as good, I don't necessarily mean the, the resolution, right? Like, you can tell that it's the graphics are crisp and the colors are good and, you know, it's running at a decent frame rate. The way that the game kind of looks as far as almost the cinematic portion of it, the Modern Warfare engine looks incredible. It did in the campaign, and that same graphical fidelity carried over into multiplayer, which was a little unbelievable, to be honest. When I started playing multiplayer in Modern Warfare, and it played like the campaign, basically, I was stunned. And this, the campaign trailer that they showed, looks like it's running on the Modern Warfare engine. It looks that same way. The, the character's gun kind of moves inside of the viewport, and the, the player movement looks about the same. The overall graphical look seems like the Modern Warfare campaign did, like on that level. Multiplayer looks like it's on a completely different engine. So I don't know if that's because there's a huge difference in how it's... in how they're using the engine on the last generation consoles. The Obviously, the, the campaign preview uh, is on the newest, best hardware, right? Like, matter of fact, I think on the reveal event thing, that it's or the Sony event at least, showed it running on the PlayStation 5, right? So it could be that this is going to look exactly like Modern Warfare, at least as far as the overall graphical quality on the new consoles. But I don't know. I'm skeptical about that. I, I find it I find it unlikely that that's going to be... Because it's a lot about the way that the guns move and the way that the guns don't feel as significant. You know, that's my little goofy face there. i I just gotten killed. If you saw the stream, um, this is a relatively short clip with the AK-74. And then it's going to be wrapped up. So I'll kind of sum up my thoughts, even though I've already basically done that. So I'm not shitting on Cold War. I'm going to get it. I'm going to play it. Um, but as of right now, there may be a chance, and it could be a significant chance, that I'll play a, a decent amount of Cold War, and then I might go back to Modern Warfare, depending on how it feels uh, overall. Um, so... Uh, I hope you guys uh, got a little bit out of this. I want to hear your thoughts about what you want to see from Cold War or how you, what your thoughts are if you played the Alpha or watched videos for the Alpha. So let me know what you think. Maybe I'm just a grumpy old man. Um, but yeah, uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, all that shit if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See you.